you are probably wondering what is that humming noise in the background and i'm very sorry to say it's going to be here for a while because i'm having some renovation stuff done here in the building um and so they're using you know sort of like this this polishing device or tool um and yeah it's just the viol makes everything vibrate in a way and you will hear it on this recording so i hope you don't mind um it is just what it is but i'm also intending to go through uh, this review video for june 5th 2023 in all these indexes rather quickly so i'm going to start off with gold here and remember what i said yesterday in the very beginning i said looking at the macro news for this week it's going to be a quiet week not a lot of impulses will be set by any news to be published to be scheduled and that's exactly what we got a taste of yesterday the markets were directionless there wasn't really much to do and the only thing that you know like was maybe a little bit of interest um you know was the ism services here that came out at 1600 cet so half an hour into the open and if you look at it you know at, at what's going to come out today maybe at the same time a little bit of this ibd tip thing i'm not expecting too much of it and then tomorrow there's going to be import export balance of trade data ahead of the open i don't think that's going to do much um and then moving forward some job market data that is not super critical the initial um jobless claims will be published um and then it's already friday which is a very quiet day as well so whenever markets are quiet it's going to be chop most of the time so you have to be really careful take profits quickly use tight stops that's what it is let's start off with looking at gold here so this big candle here in the background this volume candle this is when ism services came out and you can see there was an immediate big push to the upside so here's the general question do you want to get a position on before a news announcement like that um somewhat i guess okay when it comes to ism data if this was an interest rate decision fomc um, releases or whatever i would definitely not do that unless i had a position that was already very deep in the money but even though if you decided to take a trade here ahead of of the announcement um in in a very you know shallow day very little volume compared to regular days in gold then there was an entry for you right here you know when at least a little bit of liquidity came in and this entry right here this is where you get your fill it goes up i'm i'm not sure if you if you really reach the one r it's super super tight um to be on the safe side we should probably assume you didn't get it and then price comes back down to the entry level you will probably get stopped out here by then um and then obviously what happens is that with the ism announcement uh price shoots up and you are not on board with that one uh, and that's the only move of the day in, in gold that was worth reporting roughly 15 points or something and the rest of the day is just you know chopping a little bit higher um there wasn't really really anything in terms of interesting setups here they they, they were you know mostly not valid setups um no follow throughs etc so you know not not much here to to really do maybe except for for this one right here this this should have given you one r but very very little movement in here right just two points or something and then the day was basically over looking at the es um i already drew something in here i'm you know like having you know like um just like one one setup here really that that might be interesting because again ahead of everything this is the ism services coming out this is a big wick candle chop in the market before that we actually opened a little bit higher and then we faded 
And then on top of that, you had this ISM announcement that sent everything up and down again. So again, um, trading on an open in general, you should figure out if that's worth it. You have to do back testing and figure that out for yourself, depending on your setup. Um, and then for my setup, I can I can pretty much say, even though I'm running some extra validations right now, it's not worth doing it. Very often you get fades like this. And then when you have macro news coming out, um, again, if you're not already deep in the money, why would you take any risk? You don't know uh, which way it's going to go, right? And then afterwards, you can see down here, there's, there's no increase in volume anywhere to the upside, right? And when you finally get it, there, it doesn't, you know, close above a previous candle. Um, this is stuff to the downside is invalid because we're above the 10 simple moving average, which is this red line. And then also, um, you know, some other stuff here, this low took out that low, it's not a valid setup, et cetera, et cetera. So it goes on. This one doesn't close above that. This one does, but has a terrible follow through candle. You would close the trade right away with the next candle. And, and that's what that is. The only thing that might have worked if you, if you still had the guts to do anything would have been this one here to the downside, right? So you get a signal here, closes below the 10 simple moving average. You get the next one here, closes below the low of the previous one. And, you know, again, if you still have the guts, you would probably try to, um, you know, put a, I'm sorry, I, I mixed that up. This is the, this is the initial one here. This is follow through, uh, not follow through, this is the signal candle. And then um, you would eventually get in here if you really wanted to. And then it will give you one R quickly. Um, it will not really come back and jeopardize any, any stop level at break even. Rather, it will go all the way down here. It's, it's then up to you, you know, if you want to take profits here. That's pretty good. One, two, three point three R. Um, or you just wait, you know, until you get this this claim here, the other side of the moving average, and then you get stopped out here because it's just so choppy. So in that case, you would have gotten, oh, it just moved everything. Sorry. Let me just try to do this properly. So in this case, you would have collected, what is that, one and a half hour roughly, right? Yeah, one and a half hour. And then the day is basically over, right? This is already... Later in the day, half an hour before the close. And yeah, that's that's all there is. NQ, similar thing. I'm not going to go through everything leading up to it. Um, same short idea, same one hour, same big move down, same move back up. Claims it somewhere here. You probably get stopped out here. It should also be one and a half hour. The Dow. Same idea. Guess what, right? Um, this occurred, I think there was, was, was it later in the day? Let me just check. No, it wasn't. Um, just looks a little bit different here how price reacted throughout the day. Um, yeah, again, you can, you can take this one. Everything before that was not valid. Um, so that's, that's just what that is, right? Right, so I basically went through them and I didn't bother to do a lot of checks here as you can see what this looks like, but so we get very little signals anyways. And then um, the Russell reacted differently, right? Because basically before the open or with the open, it went straight down. This is just the other scenario you can get with, with an opening trade. We saw that it faded um, in the S, for example, right? This is the fade here. But the Russell, it just followed through to the downside, right? So if you are somebody who trades the open, that was pretty good for you, right? Your, your, your entry was, <laughs> was somewhere here. The question is, looking at this candle that you know that, that that is not a good candle you probably have gotten out here again so this is a bit in, in hindsight here i'm not sure if you would have you know stayed in that trade at all that depends on how you tweak your setups and your rules um and yeah and then <clears throat> later in the day 
you know, it reverses a little bit, but you see down here, there's, there's really nothing to the upside. And then you, you don't really get any valid setups here at all. Um, there's, there's nothing to do in here, right? There's nothing to do in here. And then you get a lot of drop to the downside. So Russell was not doing much interesting yesterday. And let's take a look at the DAX. Um, I was just looking at some stuff from the open yesterday as well. Because obviously there's a lot of liquidity here starting at 9 o'clock CET. The only setup I could find was um, a setup here to to the downside. But that didn't materialize. You would have gotten stopped out here. Or you would have prematurely closed the trade when the screen candle closed above the 10 simple moving average indicating that there's bullish strength in here. We don't want to stay on the short side. We just close it for a tiny little loss of what is that? Maybe not even a quarter of our stop range, right? So I just want to illustrate that. And then you get <clears throat> something similar to the Russell, actually. You get an immediate signal when they open in the States. Um, and this one would have worked really well. Again, the question is, do you want to trade DAX, you know, when the US markets open? Because the DAX obviously will have volume as well. It will have a move, most likely similar to what happens in the, in the US. But for those of you who traded this or would have traded this, you probably got in. I don't think you got in there. This is a signal. This is more like the follow through. So you can say this is where the stop was. Your your one R you get collect you collected in no time. And then if you trail the simple moving average, you will probably somewhere down here you will probably get stopped out for one one to two point seven R. So that's um that's not too bad. Again, if, if you took the trade, right? And then the day is over, you know? Because essentially after 5.30 CET, uh, DAX closes, you know, trades a little bit, and then it, that's it, basically, right? Oil. It's doing stuff now for sure, but yesterday, let's take a look at that. See, I'm, I'm just showing you the volume here, so you know when when it's worth looking also for setups, you don't get chopped up in in pre-market or post-market. See, this was one here, coincides with the opening of the equities in, this, in the US. Um, you know, like usually with oil, that shouldn't so, be so much of an issue. Um, um, so yeah, you can probably take this trade, you collect your one R quickly, and then depending on how your profit taking is you might also get 2r down here or this is a nasty one this this brings you back quite a lot um you might only collect like roughly half an hour for the rest of the position um or you just leave 20 percent of the position on at break even if you did that you're still in it now you're down here somewhere right or actually down here you should you should really consider having um a tiny position as a left leftover position. You just put a stop to break even and then you just wait till the next day or whatever. And then if you want to trail it, um, which you should probably do, you just switch to a higher time frame. You can do it to go to like 30 minutes. And then you can say, okay, I entered it here, right? And then um, you know, I just left it on a little bit and then trail it down. Sometime you were probably maybe not watching it or, you know, I don't know if, if you want to take close positions in very liquid markets. So you might want to wait for price action where there is volume, at least from the European session. Then you see if the next move, we can trail it down. And then you are basically already up, like what is that, like $3 or something. Roughly three dollars, 
for the remainder of the position. So that's not bad, right? And that's it. That's all I have to say for, for the review. So yesterday, typical day, as my situational awareness actually anticipated, um, chop day, little moves, basically just looking for one setup, um, collecting your one R, um, the rest probably getting stopped out. And that's pretty much it. So I don't expect much more to happen uh, in the other days of this week, right? So be aware of that. All right, that's it. And I'm going to record the morning meeting next. See you soon.